I just got this box from Garmin containing the MK3i dive computer in two sizes, both the 43 millimeters and the 51 millimeter. Let's look what's inside the box. Come on closer. Look at this. We got the big one here. This is the 54 millimeter Descent MK3i or Mark 3i. Then we got the 43 millimeters here, Descent MK3i. So this comes in two sizes. Just in a second, I'm gonna open them up and show you the size difference. That's a special treat. We have down here two sensors, the T2 sensors. We're gonna try and test these out later on because what the MK3i has is communication between two dive computers. So if you have an MK3i and your buddy has an MK3i, and it's either size of these, and both have the T2 transmitter, then you can actually send messages underwater for up to 10 meters in distance. So you can send a distress signal or you can send a message to We haven't tested this, but I'm super excited to test it out. Okay, so let's start with the 54 millimeter uh, MK3i. Take a look at this. So beautiful. Let's get this one out. This is the all new MK3i. Let's remove this. We got the unit itself. In here, we got the clip charger. So this is exactly as we know it from the previous models, the MK1 and the MK2, you have this clip-on charger. I'll show you how it works in a second. And we got a bunch of manuals. So that's what's in the package. We got an attachment here. Let's just check out if there's anything inside of this one. All right, perfect. Look at this. An extra long band. You so easily change these bands. Let me just show you before we take a look at the whole thing. So this one for shorty or for uh, bare arms, and this one for longer, thicker wetsuits or for dry suits as well. You have an extra long. So nice to see. So that's what you're getting in the package. You get the unit itself, a charger, and an extra long rubber band for your dive computers. So nice to have in. All right, let's just compare this one because I got the MK2i. So this one is, as you can see, almost the same size, but the tree, Mark 3, is one millimeter smaller in diameter. It's almost impossible to see here, but the size is the same. So it's both 1.4 inches uh, size, uh, screen size. So you get the same size of the screen, but you get a teeny tiny bit smaller dive computer. It's also a bit thinner, uh, but it's by you know, 0.5 millimeters, something like that. So when we compare these two, it's almost impossible to see. Still, in these sizes of a dive computer, this is a large one to have on your wrist. So even a bit in size makes a big difference. Up here, it doesn't have any power, so I can't show you, but we'll do more in-depth reviews of it. It has a built-in LED flash, which means you can actually turn on a flashlight that will light properly. The MK2 had a bright screen, similar to we know from other smartwatches where you can light up the screen really bright. It gives you a sense of a flashlight where this one has an actual built-in LED flashlight. So great to see. Let's take a look at the smaller 43 millimeter. The difference here is, of course, the size and features. It does not have the built-in LED light when you have the smaller size. But look at this. Look at how beautiful this one is. Let's pull this one out. Same packaging, same content. Thinner rubber band. If you take a look at the MK3i 51 millimeter band versus the 43 millimeter band. Well, let's just pull this sticker off. You can really see a difference in size. Both these dive computers have same technology on the inside. They do standard single di tank dive, they do two tank, tank dive, they do tech diving, they do CCR diving. So this works from all the way to, from beginners to whatever you want to do within diving. Um, so this is a dive computer you can start with. You can buy this one as your uh, mid level or advanced, or you can take it all the way to technical or CCR, we read the diving. So comparing size for the 43 millimeter uh, MK3i, this is the G1 uh, released a few years ago. Also a Garmin um, 
has the same um, technical aspects uh, of the diving. So you can go all the way to tech diving or CCR diving if you want, but it has the same size if we compare this, um, these two dive computers. And then we have the messaging system from the transmitter. I'm breaking the whole box here to get this one out. You got your manuals and then we have the T2 transmitter. You attach this to your regulator first stage and it connects, shows you the tank pressure. And now it also has the option of messaging your dive body or anyone else that you connected to before the dive. So you can send in water messages through the transmitter and it has a up to 10 meters uh, range for these messages to go to water. This was the unboxing of the Garmin MK3i. Now we're gonna take it out, we're gonna test it, we're gonna compare it to a lot of the other dive computers on the market. Of course, we're gonna compare it to the MK2i, see if there's really a, a reason to go for the more expensive MK3, or if you just should just pick a shoe. We're also gonna compare it to the shoe with a Terek, and we're gonna compare it to a lot of the other dive computers that we have here, uh, and we have in our dive computer guide on diving.com. So if you wanna read more about this, if you wanna see more, of the other dive computers we've been testing, head over to diving.com. Uh, there's a link in the description below. And also, if you have any comments or want to see anything tested with these two, drop a comment down below. Uh, we'd love to hear feedback, we'd love to get back from you. I'm Tom from Diving, and this was the Garmin Descent uh, Mark 3i.